So it is Monday. I have my Blink-182 hoodie on because I was going to try and get Blink-182 tickets this morning, <laughs> but it did not work. I tried to wear this for good luck. Didn't happen. I don't know why I thought it was going to be early, easier today. Usually when you go to get general public tickets, it's easier to get them, but did not work. Um, the problem is, <laughs> like, I got on an hour before they went on sale. I was in the waiting room and everything. They put you in there like a half an hour before. And then at 10 o'clock when they went on sale, it finally clicked over and it said there are 2,000 plus people in front of you. So right then and there, I was like, yep, forget it. It's not going to happen. <coughs> when I finally did get in, it was already all resale tickets. There was nothing at normal, like baseline price that what they're supposed to be so i mean if people weren't so stupid and actually paying this for friggin tickets they would it wouldn't be a popular thing to be reselling tickets like this it's so insane like i i just i can't i can't believe that it was this hard and like i've never had this much trouble trying to get uh tickets for something before so guess this ain't happening. Like I said the other day, I'm really glad that I've seen them so many times already or I'd be more pissed, but it is what it is, I guess. Like, I, it's been a really long time since I got anything, for, any tickets for, like, in a, a big arena type show, because, like, all the bands I like aren't as popular anymore and they play clubs. <laughs> like, the, I mean, the last big one I went to was Green Day, but that wasn't, it's not usually hard for me to get tickets for their shows like all the times that I've gotten it I don't I haven't re renewed my fan club membership for them in a couple years but like every time I've gotten Green Day tickets I've been in the fan club so you get the pre-sale codes and everything but even for the Blink-182 pre-sale codes this was the same thing you could not get in and then everything was already taken like they allow a certain number of tickets for pre-sales obviously they can't sell them all right off the bat and once I got in, they were already all gone and already friggin' resellers posting them up. So it's stupid. It's so stupid that people do that. But like they know people are gonna be dumb enough to pay that much money for them, so they just keep doing it. But it makes it so like, I don't know what type of programs they use to get into these things and buy all the tickets up right away, like as soon as they got on. But frick I wish I knew because then I'd, I'd be getting in there right away to get tickets it's so it's ridiculous anyway I don't think my my family is gonna come over for Aiden's birthday because now they're sick <clears throat> so that's I mean that's less work I have to do because I don't have to make all that food um but like my uncle said he's getting over a cold and my grandma's starting to get it I don't know what is up with my nose like I'm not sick anymore but it's still all, when I talk, I sound super congested. Um, but yeah, it was an aggravating morning. Like, I kind of knew I wasn't going to get them because this has been such a an ongoing thing this whole week, the people not being able to get in, the, in for the pre-sales and everything else. So, I don't know. I just, I genuinely hate Ticketmaster. It's always been harder to get tickets through Ticketmaster than anywhere else. Like, when it's through like an actual venue site like when tickets for clubs go on sale it's usually through some like live nation or something that's easier to get them through or like the club itself has a page where the tickets go on sale and there's that like i don't know i just <laughs> i don't know why bands allow this crap because like Usually they have a say in friggin' where the tickets are being sold and stuff, but I guess because this was such a big a big tour and stuff, and Tom just came back and everything, it's going through there, so I don't know. It's just a pain in the butt for people who, like, really want to see them and have been a fan of them for ages and ages, and then this crap happens, but whatever. Um, I have to go do Aiden's last class of the day with him, so... I'll talk to you guys probably tomorrow. So my dining chairs finally came. My dining chairs finally came. Apparently they were a huge pain in the butt to put together because Steven was not happy with it. <laughs> um, but they're here. Um, I mean, the, the table is literally just one of those, the like buffet table things. 
but I really don't care because <laughs> it's gonna have a friggin what do you call it a tablecloth on it all the time anyways so I don't know why there's a beret on top of that skull I didn't do that but that's what it looks like um, pretty soon this is gonna have candy in it for Halloween that's just kind of sitting there right now but the chairs they came like obviously we had to put them together well, Steven put them together but they came like all banged up like they look like chairs I've had for years and years and they're brand new I can't find maybe it was all like all the pieces had like nicks already taken out of them oh that's just a piece that came off good um let me see like right here look it's already got a gouge taken out of it it's just like I guess that's what I get for getting cheap stuff but like I said I'm not worried about a fancy dining set in this house I just when we finally know where we're gonna end up I'll worry about the fancy stuff then but <laughs> as long as I've got a table and it serves its purpose right now are you excited that it's your birthday today can you not wait until school is over <laughs> click on paradise yeah, go ahead, do your... I'm distracting him from his lesson. <laughs> Pete. Hi, I got a spooky Pete from Halloween! It's a spooky Pete! That was his first present that he opened today on his lunch break, but now he's gonna go open the rest later. I wanna we're... open a rest later! <laughs> okay, okay, because we're all done with school now, right? Big gift on the top. With the sprinkle paper that down right there. and all the other ones are cool Halloween paper. Check now. those out. Happy birthday. <laughs> Good. You, can just... you can rip it. Get, that one. It. That one's not breakable. Break. Maybe we shouldn't teach Break. him to hit all the presents. <laughs> I'm in an elbow. Uh, what is this? A soft blanket. Yeah. What's on it? What is it though? What do they look like? Look at the pictures. Donuts. Yeah, they're donuts. They're Halloween donuts. Is it nice and soft? Just, I want a web donut tomorrow. <laughs> okay, you ready? You can Ooh, do you like it. Yes. Okay, here's another one. I thought that was someone knocking on the back door. Is he coming? No, oh, I don't think anybody's coming. <laughs> so I'm letting them open it? his presents now. Keep I'm not going to make them wait. That's a new... It's a new Pete the Cat book. I know, let's take the cover off because we hate those, put right? The covers! <laughs> you know, that's the first thing he does with... I don't even know why books put those on them. Especially books for kids. Books is not good. What? So... Books is really good. Good. So we can read that tonight, probably, okay? Would you like to read that tonight? Yes! I don't remember what yes. is what, but I know the one small yes. thing has to be last, yeah. I want to read two books tonight. Okay, we can open that one, I guess. Flip it over, and then it's easier. There you go. Is that all that's in there with boxes? It's a game. I like board games. I know you like board games. That's why I got you one. So maybe we can play that. Does that look like fun? Yes! We have to le learn how to play it, though, because Mom doesn't know how to play this one. I just thought it was cool because it was yeah, Dad Mickey did, and the Beans. Dad did stuck. a really good job on this one. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I got new tickle blocks! I like tickle blocks. Halloween blocks! Yeah, they're Halloween colors. Yeah, the ones that you wrapped, you can't open. Because <laughs> you used, it didn't help that you Halloween used the packing ones, tape. Huh? You can put them with all your other ones, right? Right, and I want to stick don't, it in the yeah, middle of the house. Don't open them later. yet, okay? Later. You can restack them later. You like, can rearrange later. But the, okay. No, not yet. Yeah, dad, 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 uh, 
wrapped that one too. The black and orange ones are the ones you wrapped and you can't open them. Tell you, I wrapped them all. No, you didn't. The only one I didn't wrap was the one I Pizza opened Pizza pie this game. No. I wrapped like two three of them. Games, you, wrapped yeah. them. you wrapped the blanket and the two black and orange ones. I wrapped I all the other ones. Yeah, that's another game. Pizza them. cat pizza game. Okay, now listen. I wrapped everything. This is your special big present, okay? Ooh. Your big surprise. This is a long wrapping present. This is a thick. Don't listen, don't punch careful. this one, okay? Careful. Give me that. Listen, this is your <laughs> special present. Super special present. That's a super special. You hear me? Look at me. <laughs> He's this like, yeah, whatever. Super special present for Ava. Okay? Okay. And you better be good. You better treat this thing good. Go ahead, open it up. Uh... Whoa, Daddy, you're good. Tablet. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know a... you can play games on your tablet. Yeah. Or anything. And listen. You know to play. Listen. You know how your other one doesn't charge good anymore, and it's super slow. This is a brand new one, and it's bigger. It's a bigger tablet. Okay. You have a new tablet. And I want to be battery remaining it to thirty percent. Yeah, your battery's not gonna die super fast Look on it. At okay. That. It's a big boy tablet. Oh, Doesn't... no, you can play games. <laughs> also, look you can at, play ABC Maps. Look, go get your go get your other tablet. Yeah, because I'm gonna have to put all your games and stuff on. I want to put I want to put a size comparison frame up to it so that he realizes how much bigger this is. I love that you have your super piece of shit pajamas on while I'm trying to record something for my vlog. <laughs> These pajamas that he won't let me throw away. You can see through them. You, I can probably. I'm not gonna film that because I can probably see your package. Look, look at your tablet, your old tablet, and look at the new Whoa, one. Whoa! Look at the size difference. Look it's, how big the new one is. Look how big the new one is. Look at that. And it doesn't have the giant bumper around it. Look at this new tablet. Yeah. And it's bigger. Do you like it? Yes. Good. Now we have to set it up, though, and we have to put all yep. your stuff on it, okay? Mom was going to do it last night, but you I couldn't get that thing away from you to get the memory card and everything. So down. let's do that now. I didn't realize what a pain in the ass it was going to be to get all his stuff from his old tablet, which I just had. It's filthy. Like, the edges of this are so filthy with, like, crumbs and stuff from being in that big padded kid's... Um, What's it called? Like the protector case? I didn't realize what a size difference this was between this little tiny one. I think this was the 7 inch one and the 10 inch one. Like that's insane. <laughs> but he's gonna absolutely love this and now he's mad at me that I took it because I have to put all his stuff onto this one. I'm hoping, like it's doing the system update thing now and I'm hoping that because most of his stuff in here was on the memory card that I took out that I'm just going to be able to grab it all off of there and like just install the games that he likes to play and then everything will be on there still. I don't know. I wanted to do this last night and I couldn't like get it away from him and then I, the first thing he does in the morning is look for his tablet to play with it and like before school starts. And I knew that was just going to be an issue if I hit it on him and <laughs> took it away. So I'm doing it now and he's just going to have to play with something else until this is done. But um, I'm so like, I made so much food yesterday because I thought my grandma had called me a couple days ago after my uncle told me that they were probably going to have to wait because he was getting over a cold. Uh, she told me she thought she was getting it but she was she was fine and they would still end up coming because he was done with it but I guess he got he ended up getting it worse and now she feels like she's getting it again so they're just not gonna come today because we don't want to get sick again and we just had it so and then I don't know if my brother's coming he was gonna come and then he's having a fit about because where he lives he can never find a parking spot if he goes home too late at night 
<laughs> so I made a whole bunch of food and nobody's even going to come today. And look how brown my hair got. Like, I used black hair dye. I don't understand why it faded so brown. That was just a really crappy dye, I guess. I don't know. I guess it's good if I want to change my hair color, but I kind of wanted to keep it black on top for a while. I haven't even bothered ordering more yet, which I really need to do because the front of my hair is getting so gray. But this is still not done installing yet. Anyway, we have a bunch of food now and a giant cake. I haven't even shown him his cake yet. I made, I decorated it last night. Like I baked the cake yesterday afternoon and then I didn't decorate it till he was already in bed so that he didn't see it and I hid it in the refrigerator. And um, I'm very happy with how it came out. I, I'm like, my hair is shedding so bad because I straightened it last night. Um, I will probably record when we like sing happy birthday to him but uh if I forget <laughs> I will stick in a picture of the cake but it came out super cute the the frosting topper thing that I had ordered for it it was bigger than what they said it was because they told me they said right in the description fits a quarter sheet quarter sheet cake which I already explained to you how I had to go through <laughs> two different pans before I got the right size because I ordered a sheet pan and all that came was like a cookie sheet, a quarter cookie sheet size, which I don't even know what I would use that for because when I make cookies, I use my giant cookie sheets, but um, I'm stuck with that now and then <laughs> I, I had to like look it up because there's so many different cake pan sizes. If you're being super specific, I had to type in uh, how big is a quarter sheet cake because I had to get like the dimensions of the pan and then it, I, I think it's 9 by 13 that I had to order I can tell you right now because I'll just go to my orders and find it um, where are you the Halloween wrapping paper that I showed too that was from Amazon I was very excited that I found that stuff and it's like nice thick good quality wrapping paper too where the hell is the, the pan that I ordered? <laughs> it's somewhere here. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, yeah, 9 by 13. So a 9 by 13 is a quarter sheet cake, apparently. I didn't know the, the correct size. So I got a 9 by 13 cake pan. It was 10 bucks. And the, the thing that I got, the frosting thing, was a, is, it's a little bit bigger than the cake itself so like I had to kind of it's almost like why am I shedding so much it's almost like um really really thin fondant or a fondant if you watch cake box cake boss they always say fondant um it's like a really thin fondant and I had to kind of like bend the edges and smooth it out to make it look nice and then I just did the piping all around the edges so you can't see but it came out pretty cute the um the sprinkles that I got from sprinkle pop shop I believe is the name of the place they have so many cool ones like I have found that place now I'm gonna do like get sprinkles from them for holidays and stuff now but um I already did connect to Wi-Fi the sprinkles just like were the finishing touch on that cake because they're so cool. They like all the colors and the rainbow sprinkles that I got match the design on the cake perfectly. So I'm very happy with how it came out. Um, but yeah, now this says it's restoring from the old one and it's got five minutes to go. This is probably going to take me like an hour, hour and a half to do all this. <laughs> I really should have done it last night, but. I'm working on it, bud. Um, he, now he's like super anxious to be able to play with it because he did it. He did all his homework already. He finished everything so that he can play for the rest of the night here with his new stuff. He got some games, as you guys saw, so I'm going to have to learn how to play the games with him so that we can play. I think my grandma got him like three board games, too. So we're going to have lots of games to play. He's just super, like everything he wanted this year 
was either books or board games. So like, I found the Pete the Cat thing and I was like, okay, that's super cute. Um, that actually, the little spooky Pete, he just came out a couple weeks ago, I think, at the beginning of October. So he likes to collect Pete the Cat stuff. He still really loves Pete the Cat. So I got him the spooky Pete. Um, and then that blanket, of course, I saw that when I was shopping and I was like, he has to have this. And Steven's always so wound up over <laughs> over colors. Like, it's pink. Why are you getting him something pink? Like, I could care less about the, the friggin' pink is for girls and blue is for boys. I, I, that's so stupid. It's just, um, but he loves like super soft warm blankies like that. And speaking of super soft warm stuff, I got a pair of, um, I don't think they're even technically pajamas, but I'm going to use them as pajamas. They're fleece wear with stretch leggings by Cuddle Duds, which I've, I think they only sell them at Kohl's. I, I haven't ever seen Cuddle Duds stuff anywhere else, but I have a set of Cuddle Duds sheets on the bed and they're like the softest, warmest sheets. They're uh, like the micro fleece sheets. So this is the same kind of idea and they're not these. These are my old navy ones that I love, but um. They are just, they're nice and lightweight, which is nice, but they're so warm and like super, super soft that they have the stretch that like leggings normally have a nice stretch to them. They're just the comfiest things. So <laughs> I want to, I definitely want to get a couple more pairs of them before they don't have them anymore. But um, I just thought I would mention that because they were on sale. So I think they still are actually, but um. I had bought this on the Kohl's website because they were on sale everywhere, like Amazon, Kohl's, anywhere that has the Amazon Fire tablets had them on sale when I bought it. So I was like, I'll get it from Kohl's because it's the same price as on Amazon and if I get it from Kohl's, I get Kohl's cash. So I used the Kohl's cash to get myself those pants. Um, and now I'm like... I gotta get another pair of them. I have no Kohl's cash left, but this this is still, it just restarted again and says installing in system update <laughs> again. Here's the cake. I figured I would take a video of it before. We devour it. Well, no, before I put the candle in it, because I kind of have to cut a hole to put the, the candles in. I'd, two different friggin candles because Walmart didn't have the same kind but they're not gonna just Kiss. smush through this because it's like fondant, <laughs> fondant. but I'm not gonna record us singing to him because he's no you just don't want to be recorded singing I don't want to sing and he's notoriously known for like not liking a the sing? happy birthday song yeah, so. but he seems to be super into it this year so Okay, we'll see, but here's the cake. Super cute. That's the little Toka Burger character that he loves. <laughs> Aiden doesn't have PE class today because his PE teacher is out. Well, I don't think she's sick. I think she said her uh, her son is sick. So, we have a 45 minute break right now. It is freezing this morning. It got super cold last night. So it's super cold now, but I'm glad that it kind of cooled off. Um, um, Aiden loved his cake. I'm super excited that he actually ate most of the piece that I gave him. Because usually he gets really excited for cake, but then he only takes like a little nibble and then he's done with it. So <laughs> I'm very excited that he ate a bunch of it. He was amazed that he could eat the picture on it. Um, and it came out pretty good, so... I'm excited that it came out so good. Uh, it was just, it was a uh, devil's food cake inside because he wanted chocolate cake. He, he likes chocolate cake way more than vanilla. But when I make like cupcakes and stuff, he'll eat vanilla cupcakes. I don't know why my phone is like sliding like crazy. Um, so I'm trying to get some work done here, seeing as how he has a little break that he doesn't usually get in the morning. 
My bl the black boxes I ordered came in, so these have the Halloween spooky boxes inside them, and they're all ready to go as soon as I print all the shipping labels for them. Um, I'm hoping these hold up because these boxes are way thinner than what I thought they were going to be. But they were labeled as shipping boxes, so I mean, they should be okay as long as USPS doesn't drop keep them or anything. Um, I like those, and I would like switch to those from now on because they have the the self-sealing sticker on the inside. The only thing is they're a pain in the ass to put together, and they are kind of thin, so that like I won't trust those for um, like international shipping or anything. But uh, I'm trying to look at my bills that are due today so that I can pay them. Um, I wouldn't trust them shipping international, but I think they'll be okay for the all the. The U.S. stuff. Oh, I don't know why I'm so tired. I've slept pretty good the last few days. Um, I'm h hoping that my family gets over being sick so that Aiden can see them because he was upset yesterday. No one came to see him for his birthday. Um, my brother didn't end up coming, so like we didn't. I made a bunch of food that we now have to eat because. I have a, I made, like, I wasn't going to because I thought my grandma wasn't coming in the first place, and then she had told me the day before that she was going to come, so I cooked a bunch of stuff. I made chicken salad, because I know they like that, I made meatball sliders, and now we have a whole tray of meatball sliders and a big bowl of chicken salad, so I'm trying to uh, eat the chicken salad for lunches and stuff, and get through as much of it as we can, I guess. Um, I should just go drop some on their doorstep <laughs> to get rid of some of it before it goes bad. Um, what else? I just wanted to come on it because I haven't filmed much this week of it. Well, I filmed his birthday stuff, but, um, I need to get cracking on making all the eyeshadows from this last sale so that I can have another sale. I gotta get ready to go back on uh, his math class with him in like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna finish up what I was doing and I will check in with you guys later. It is still the same day. I didn't think I was gonna record anymore today, but the sun is going, the sun goes down a lot earlier now because of the time of year. So it's gonna be in my face for the next hour or so. But um, I don't think Aiden's school knows what the hell is going on tomorrow because Tomorrow is the day that uh, they're having, like, the meetup for some people, because we can't go to it, it's so far away. Um, they're doing, like, apple pink, apple picking at a pumpkin patch and apple farm and everything. Um, apple orchard. But it's so far away I'm not even bothering because Aiden will just get car sick and it's too much to drive all the way out there for that. So, um, at first they were saying, like, if you don't, they were going to live stream it, and they were saying if you don't, his teacher was saying anyways, if you don't sign in for the live stream thing tomorrow, you're going to be mock, marked as absent. So then I guess she reached out to um, the vice principal, whoever's taking care of everything, and they were like, no, this is just, it's just going to be like uh, a makeup work day. So like if anything, any projects you haven't finished, just work on those, and um all that kind of stuff, so the, they didn't know what was going on until like the end of the day today, and hopefully hopefully we don't get any messages saying we have to log on for anything tomorrow, other than what I know he has to do is his speech therapy, because that, as mentioned before, that's an outside service, so like even when there's not normal classes going on, he still has his speech and his OT. Um, and what else does he have tomorrow? His social skills class, which... Last week, the lady said that tomorrow is going to be her last day, so now I don't even know if they're going to have that class because of this, um, the, the meetup thing. There's a bunch of kids that aren't going to be there, a bunch of teachers that aren't going to be there, so they're just not having live classes tomorrow, so I should probably email her and see, um, if they're still going to have it tomorrow, so I'm just going to check in. Um, I know because one of the kids in his social skills class is in his class, and I know she's going to the apple picking thing, 
so she's not going to be in the social skills class tomorrow and if there's because there's only three kids in it if only one of them shows up then the cast the class gets canceled and he can leave if he's the only one that shows up because the whole point of that class is to interact with each other so if he's the only one that shows up he can't really interact with anybody other than the teacher and then it's a big uh, waste of time so I think I'll do that right now I'm gonna send her an email and be like are you guys still having the social skills class tomorrow because uh, <laughs> they're doing the apple picking thing and none of the kids are gonna be there so I don't know we'll figure it out um, I got most of what I wanted to get done today done. I had to sit here printing out all my labels for all my lotions and sprays and then these are the whipped soap ones that needed to be made because I didn't have many of these printed already so I spent the afternoon doing this. Um, I have to find that teacher's email and the annoying thing when I have to like contact a teacher is I have to log in through Aiden's Google stuff because for some, like, it doesn't let me in anything when I'm in my Google account. <sighs> and then it's like for the the parent-teacher conference, I had to, like, sign up for it his, through his account and everything. And it's just, it's so annoying. And then my computer, for some reason, only saves his login info. Because, like, you know on Google Chrome how you can have different profiles, like different login accounts? It only saves his info on my on this computer for like a week and then it deletes it I don't know why it's maybe maybe something in the settings that I'm missing but um, it doesn't do that on my laptop because his his account is always on my laptop I did introduce new more sense to to the whipped soaps because I think I had like six before and I added I added ones that are like really popular during the fall so like white pumpkin amber I personally can't stand this scent but it's such a huge seller um, what else did I add this year uh, hoodie season this one I really like this is a dupe for sweater weather so if you like the sweater weather scent from um, Bath and Body Works it smells exactly like that one of my favorite fall scents and then there was another one too uh, was it Berry Waffles? I think it, this one might be the newer one that I added. Um, but Berry Waffles is also a Bath and Body Works dupe, the Berry Waffle Cone scent. So that one surprised me by how much I like it because I normally don't love like um, bakery type scents as lotion or body spray scents for myself. But I really like that one. Um, so I'm going to go stop procrastinating and get the crap done that I need to get done now. So I'll talk to you probably tomorrow. I've been so busy I haven't even finished this vlog for the week. So today is Saturday and I'm just going to end it here. Um, I should have just ended it yesterday. I don't. I think I filmed stuff yesterday. I can't even remember. I feel like I'm losing my mind a lot lately because I can't remember things that I was like I'll walk into the kitchen and be like what did I come out here to do um but I released my that one mega mega chrome super shifty eyeshadow this afternoon um I've sold a few of them so far I didn't like I announced that I only made a certain number of them so Hopefully more people will buy them, but if not, I'm sure they'll just buy them during the next sale, even though those aren't going to ever be a part of a sale, I don't think, because I will lose way too much money on them. Um, but I am super excited because I finished all my Etsy, like making all my Etsy stuff this morning, um, because I got an order that someone asked for it. Uh, to get there before Halloween even though I have like a two-week shipping time on my Etsy page too just to be safe um, I usually I usually can get stuff out in two-ish weeks <laughs> but when I have the big sales on my website um, it takes at least three because I have to make everything uh, and it just it takes way longer so on Etsy they they don't really like you to put anything longer than like a week or two 
Uh, it lets you put like custom times, but I, I try to get stuff out as soon as possible on there. Um, and then I, I had like star, star seller status for three or four months in a row. And then they took it away from me because they said that I didn't, like, I only had, like, 94% message response rate. Which I don't get because I didn't have any that took me longer than, you're supposed to answer all your, your Etsy messages within 24 hours. And I didn't have any that I didn't answer within 24 hours. So, maybe I should try to fight that, but, like, I still have the badges for speedy shipping and for, what's the other one, customer service. It's message response rate, um, average rating, like when people give you five stars and everything, and then on time shipping and tracking. So you're supposed to have a 95% response, 95% rating for the uh, the message response rate and the on time shipping and tracking, and then in order to be a star seller, you have to have also a 4.8 rating and I have a 4.9. I did have a 5 for a really long time. I don't know why I have. I have to go back through and see who gave me a crappy review. But um, yeah, the message response rate, I don't understand. It's saying 92% of 13 messages get an initial reply within 24 hours. I tried Oh, it says right here, one message got a reply after 24 hours. I don't remember there being any, like, I try to answer them as soon as I get them. So, I don't know what that's about. But, I want to go through my reviews now and see. I don't even really read them on here anymore. Because a lot of the times it's something that's like... You want to just reply to the person and be like, why didn't you contact me before giving me a one-star review? Because this was something super easily fixable. Like, somebody will get an eyeshadow that was broken in the mail. Totally not my fault. And I just reply to them and I'm like, if you had if you had messaged me when you got it in the mail, I would have sent you a new one. Why are you giving me a one-star review for that? <sighs> I don't even know. How, why do you go to... Okay, I can do this and check this. I still have five stars on my my main thing, so. Um, let's see, yeah, see, most of these are five stars. This is a four star, whoa, <laughs> thing is falling. This one got a four star because the, the size of the shadow is very small. My eyeshadows are 26 millimeter pans. Those are universal eyeshadow pans. I, I even have it on the main page that they come in 26 millimeter pans, so I don't know what that's about. Um, these are all fives. Oh, okay, I got a one star from this person about my, uh, the liquid holographic highlighter. This one's person, this person saying it's watery oil with faint glitter. It's packed full of glitter. But I think with the, the liquid highlighters, a lot of the times if you don't know how to use it or you don't read how to use it, you're not going to like it. <laughs> yeah, I tell people that a lot if, when, like, when they're asking about it. I'm like, you may not like it if you're not used to like a, a liquid highlighter to begin with because you have to go very easy with it and kind of build it up. Whatever. Just wish you had contacted me before giving me a one star review and knocking down my entire uh, my entire rating here. Yeah, I mean, on my Etsy shop site, it still has me with five stars at the top, so not that big a deal. Most all the all the other ones in the past few months were all four and five stars, so I just wish people would contact me before they give me a one star rating because that's just on Etsy it's such a pain in the butt because they like they take away your star seller thing and then apparently when you're a star seller you get more 
your shop gets out there and viewed more. I didn't really see much, much of that, but I mean, they took it away from me and I have gotten like not a lot of Etsy orders the past few weeks. So I'm hoping that I can get it back and they do it at the first of every month. They'll tell you whether you are or not. And I'm hoping I can get it back at the beginning of November. So we'll see, but I just wanted to come on and kind of end this video because I didn't say bye yesterday. Um, and that's pretty much it. I totally forgot to order my groceries yesterday, so I'm not getting groceries today. I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner because we're kind of out of everything. Um, I think I have chicken. I'll just thaw out some chicken and try and make chicken. But that's about it, so I will talk to you guys next week.